Alright, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. Alright, this is going to be an open form impromptu. I don't really have a lesson. Uh, but, you know, I have, um, you know, I have thoughts. So, Lord willing, you know, I, I hope the Lord allow this lesson to be edifying to those of the whole four let and uh, give me the mouth to speak and prophesize and edify. I, um, you know, I'm just, I got the book of Job open, which is the 18th chapter, and uh, starting at the fifth verse, it says, Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out. And the spark of his fire shall not shine. All right. So the light of the wicked, which we understand the wicked, is Esau Edom. And who is Esau Edom? The so-called white man today. All right. Biblically, your uh, nationality is Edomites. Going back to your forefather Esau. All right. And Esau was also made, okay, as the wicked. When you when you understand the scriptures. You understand that the Lord deals with nations, you know, as he said, he have only dealt with his chosen, which are the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, and which the same, you know, a lot of people don't really think about uh, who they ignorantly call Jesus. You know, they don't really think about what nationality is because they push this, uh, this narrative as if, you know, nationality doesn't matter. You know, the Lord was for everybody. No, he wasn't. The Lord, the Lord himself was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Now say he wasn't. You know, say that he wasn't a Hebrew Israelite. You know, they, they don't they don't think about that. So when we call ourselves Hebrew Israelites, you know, they, you want to dispute that. You know, you say with fraud that the Hebrew Israelites uh, died a long died out a long time ago. You know, stupid shit. You know, Jake always coming up with some bullshit. You know, because they don't want to recognize the truth. And then the ones who got the truth, you know, they don't even want to accept accept it from from us, you know, meaning the so-called uh, uh, blacks and Latinos, man. All right, the, uh, they don't want to accept it from from young, you know, men, you know, so-called Negroes and uh, Hispanics, because why, you know, in society, the so-called Negroes and Hispanics are the lowest among, you know, all all of the nations. You know, we're just what? Uh, consumers, man. And really, we don't have, you know, in their in their eyes, we don't have uh, nothing good to say. You know, all we are is good for entertainment. You know, well, guess what? You know, the Lord said he had chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. All right. So the, the rich in the faith is, is more important, you know, than a man, you know, being glorified. Because of everything that he has You know And the Lord also speaks about How he's with the underdogs You know the ones where you least expect Alright and that is the uh, Prophets who we set up today As the judges Alright to go out and speak this word But let me uh, get back to the scripture This is Job chapter 18 And 5 it says yea The light of the wicked shall be put out And the spark of his shine shall and the spark of his fire shall not shine. So that means there's going to be an end of you Edomites. And right now we're in the end of your kingdom. You know, so far beyond that you look for because, you know, these elites, they believe, you know, they, they're establishing a new kingdom, a one world government. All right. Which they call it a new world order. OK, because their goal is to microchip. OK, everyone and start this new uh this new digital currency all right which is really dealt by the microchip all right in the system okay which is the image of the beast is the system you know dealing with biometrics and you know dealing with um you know how they can GP gps track you they can monitor every funds they can uh you know basically esau can be the most high he can have you know, there's no cutting corners when it comes to this digital chip, all right, which is a, a chip that's implanted inside the body and which the Bible calls the mark of the beast, 
All right, so it says the light of the wicked shall be put out. So you're going to be put out, man. Because why? Right now, wickedness rules the earth. You know, if, if you are dealing with witchcraft and you're dealing with, you know, being an evildoer, you're going to prosper. All right. And you're going to receive glory. You know, you're going to receive fame. You know, all that what the carnal, the carnal minded man wants. You know, you're going to receive it because you're a wicked man. So it says, I'm uh, sorry, I'm reading so much, but, you know, it's so much coming out of it. Uh, again, Job 18 and 5. Yea, the wick, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of the fire, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. All right, verse 6. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. All right, because what is his tabernacle? His home, okay, his uh, his place, his 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 establishment is America. All right, in which he took the Negroes, like uh, the, the native Indians, and uh, you know Latinos, he slaved us and, and made us build up this this place for for him. All right, so the Lord said, the light, uh, excuse me, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. All right, so everything that this devil established in this earth and this society is all going to plummet. It's all going to be as nothing, man. You know, and that reminds me of the scripture when Yahweh Shai said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. All right. The fashion of this society is going to go. You know, men dressing as women, uh, women dressing as men, you know, men lying down with men, with men, women lying down with women. Okay. Uh, women over men, you know, children over their parents, you know, this, um, this this wicked ass God forsaken uh, society is gonna go, and it's gonna go out in a dramatic fashion. All right, so I'm gonna read again. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. All right, your candle, you know, and your witchcraft is gonna be put out. You know, wickedness is not. Let me say, witchcraft is not gonna prosper. Okay, verse seven. The steps of his strength shall be straightened. And his own counsel shall cast him down. And that's right. You know, it tells you in Obadiah how his own allies is going to turn on him. Okay, you have Brexit, which is, uh, you know, Britain. And they have something they call Brexit, which they're leaving the EU. All right. You got Turkey, you know. You have America allies, which, you know, great allies, I should say. Great assets that, that benefits them, you know, especially when it comes to war. You know, when it comes to uh, 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 fighting against the enemies, you know, which American enemies is Russia and China, you know, Iran. You know what? The, the Lord is even going to have your own counsel turn on you, you know. So let me read that again. It says the steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down. And also, too, you know, the Lord said he would destroy with the spirit of his mouth and then the brightness of his coming. So right now. You know, you Edomites, you're being destroyed spiritually, all right? You know, you're being exposed for all your lies, man. You know, hey, physically, hey, your army is going to be uh, 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 slaughtered, okay? Scriptures talk, what's that in Joel? Is that Joel? Uh, he says, ill state shall come up, all right? Let me, let me continue to read. It says, the steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. It says, for he for he is cast into the, a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. So Esau, you know, in this this new world order agenda, okay, and this 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 thing, this way that they're going, microchipping, you know, they want to microchip everyone, you know, they want to control them, sit in, the, they want to sit in a God seat, they want to be as though they're Most High. Well, guess what? You, you, you're setting yourself up. You know, for your own own demise. You're setting yourself up in your own trap. You know, what's that? Psalms 10, where the Lord said he had taken him, uh, he taken him as in the devices that he have imagined. You know, so what you imagine to do to us, we're gonna do to you. Alright? What you imagine to number the you know, you think you're you're, you're uh, more mightier and, and more wise. Well, let me say you think you're more mightier than King David, man. And King David is uh beloved of the Heavenly Father. All right, even in the kingdom, you know, when the kingdom get established through Yahweh Shai returning, 
King David is going to rule in the kingdom of heaven. And Esau believes he's he's greater than King David. Because here it is, all right, um, King David tried to number the people and the Lord rebuked him, man. You know, the Lord was angry with David for that, you know. And here it is, Esau doing the same thing. As if, you know, he's going to, you know, get away with it. You know, him numbering the people is him microchipping everyone. All right, giving it each and every individual uh, person uh, today an a, a ch a implanted chip. All right, it says, for he for he is cast into a net by his own feet, and also too dealing with 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 that that last end, which is the Third World War. You know, him going into invade Iran. That's you know he casting himself into his own net. All right, and all his tricks and policies and things he do. You know, auto app KO, everything is, is leading up to your own demise and for your own captivity. Because you Edomites, you're going in captivity, man. All right? You're going in captivity. So like you. Yo. Get up this head right here. You know, you Edomites, you're going in captivity for the rape, robber, murder. You know, you have not gotten away with slavery. You know, right now, you know, because you're blinded and it may not seem as though this place will fall. But guess what? When it do fall, you know, the hey, the nation the nation's gonna say, is this is this him? Is this him that made the earth to tremble? You know? Because it's gonna be amazing, man, how today this place stands and then tomorrow it's cast into an oven, man. That's amazing, man. You know? Mm. That's amazing. You know, you look at this place and you see how it is. You see uh there's an ongoing media. You know, there's um you know mm -hmm. th there's people in their hopes and dreams in this in this place. You know, um the economy I, I can't believe is actually still running, you know, even at, at this uh mm -hmm. this this uh debt in which the apostles I was watching, they was going over Apostles Bar. Apostle of Rumlob, you know, that's how you know the Lord has set this place up for a great fall, man. Because um, in a matter of time, the economy is going to crash. All right, there's going to be survival. It's going to be. It's going. You're going to have to go into survival mode, and this is the end. This is the beginning of Jacob's trouble. This is the end of Esau, but the beginning of Jacob's trouble. And when Esau falls, it's going to be beginning of Jacob's kingdom, man. That's beautiful, man. Let me continue to read. It says. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. The jinn shall take him by the hill, and the robber shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. All right, because these countries. They Thought I was gonna get cut off. Okay, so let's continue. Um, these other countries, they're gonna point their ICBMs, which are intercontinental ballistic missiles, at this place in which you call America. All right, this place you call America in the Bible is called Babylon the Great. All right, the uh, spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Okay, and these other countries are gonna set, okay, set this place on fire through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's will. Okay, let me uh, read that again. It says, um, terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. And right now he's being, he's being, he has, let me say this. These Edomites are being uh, uh, tormented, you know, by just the, the, the rising up, the raising up of the Lord's prophets throughout the four corners. You know, right now he's being beat up spiritually, man. You know, he's being beat up spiritually. But physically, guess what? Terrors are gonna these terrors. So like yeah. All right. Shall make him afraid on every side. Nowhere you can go. You know, can you imagine when you know a race this race war jump off, man? Because it is gonna be a race war. The scriptures speak about nation versus nation. That's a a, a race versus another race. You know, to where Esau can't 
even go to certain places, you know, amongst the mi so-called minorities, you know, because why? He gonna get killed. You know, you Edomites haven't felt what Jake went through. You haven't felt, you know, being on the bottom, you know, you know, being chased, you know, being a filth and being chased up out of the world, man, everywhere you go, you know, and you're going to get a taste of that because this is the end. All right. We're, we're approaching the end. All right. So it says, um, terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Yeah, because even Yahweh Shai is going to destroy your armies, man. Okay? He's going to take down your, uh, you know, your tanks. And uh, Baba Bashai, let me see if I can uh, get this scripture, this precept. I got to look it up, though. that Salakia but um just the cameras rolling um I'm just gonna continue all right this is um verse 13 it shall devour the strength of his skin even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors all right so if you Edomites believe you know that you know you're calling us that we're terrorists well, guess what? You haven't met terror. We know that you're the real terrorist. You know, you're the terror that, that that's uh, placed upon the world because you are the sons of the wicked. You know, you're, you're, you're the terror of all nations and especially the Hebrew Israelites. All right. But the scriptures say you're going to meet the king of terrors, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See, with all of this microchipping, with all of this witchcraft and this demonic shit that's going on in this society is what? Bringing forth the face of the king of terror, man, which is Yahweh Bashem Shai. The king of terrors is going to speak now. It's going to have to regulate and remove the power, this wicked power which rules the earth. Okay? So now, let me read that again. It says, um, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. And right now, Esau is slowly, slowly you know, these Edomites are slowly, slowly losing their confidence. This is why uh, their last hope, their last white hope is Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump came in the scene and, you know, he's trying to bring forth that white privilege, that white pride, you know, and uplift his, his Edomite people, you know, until it is like they was, you know, years ago. And, you know, and they was held at high esteem, well respected or, or you'll be dealt with or you'll be dealt with. But guess what? Your your confidence is being rooted out of this place. All right? Now you got Edomites complaining. You know, they're, they're frustrated. You know, doing videos saying how, you know, they're going to be, uh, 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 what you call it? Um, they're being depopulated. <laughs> you know, it's funny when Esau make videos like that. You know, but hey, the confidence, let me read that again. It says, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, all right? And especially when your army get uh, slaughtered, all right, by these other nations. It says, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall scatter upon his habitation, all right? Because this place is none of yours, Esau, all right? This, this place is none of yours. You stole this land from the Native American Indians. You dragged the Negroes, all right, West Indians and uh, so-called Haitians, all right, uh, on this land, okay? You conquered our Hispanics, tribes, all right? This place is none of his. You're a thief, man. You're a murderer. So it says, it shall dwell in his, ta his tabernacle, which is the Lord, the King of Terrors, is going to dwell in this place because it is none of his, 
because Esau swear up and down he's going around because he has riches he has all the resources that this place is his and he could do whatever he like well the heavenly father's going to remind you that you're not the one who uh who rules the earth okay it says it, it shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation all right his roots shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be, uh, be cut off his remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the street he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people nor any remaining in his in his dwellings they that come after him shall be astounded at his day as they that went before were afraid of exactly, you know, because right now, you know, Jake, uh, other these other nations, you know, when it comes to Esau, you know, you get all, uh, you know, you got to change up how you are. You know, you get afraid if you get scared, you know, depending on the situation. All right. How how hard he may come down upon you if he, or or if this Edom might go and show you mercy. Let me read that again. It says, they that come after him shall be astounded at his day. You're going to be amazed, man, at the day when Esau fall, when they're no longer in power. It says, as they that went before were afraid of, surely such are the dwelling of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not the Most High. All right, so I hope this, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Baha Shumra Kakwadash. Want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.